Preserving the tradition of fine goat's cheese, the production system of Poly Farm in Rovigo, Italy, respects human health and the environment at all stages without using any chemical products in order to preserve and improve soil characteristics and respect all life forms and biodiversity. When rearing, they pay great attention to animal welfare, allowing them to graze in the open and limiting livestock density. Their animals are fed with organic feed. Their cheeses, fresh or mature, are strictly made with organic milk from their goats. The products made with their milk are marketed by SY Invest operator code E2827 to ensure faster distribution and to have more control over them. Their goats are Sunen and Mercia Granada. The Sunen, originally from Switzerland, is now reared in many European and non-European countries. This breed is suitable for intensive rearing in stables or partial grazing. It is the most widespread breed in Europe. Breed with herd book in Italy, it has an aptitude for milk production. The Mercia Granada goat is a breed found mainly in the provinces of Granada, Mercia and Albacete. It descends from the Capra agargris, whose secondary form is the Pyrenean ibex, which over the years evolved into the current Mercia Granada breed. There are about 508,000 animals in the herd book and it produces milk that is ideal for processing. Innovation stems from the need to respect animal ethology and the organic regulation which prohibits the use of powdered milk for the weaning of kids and at the same time allows the farmer to have milk for sale. This leads to the creation of boxes, kindergartens, inside the barn where the mothers keep the kids and to plan daily meetings between mothers and offspring. From birth, the kid remains uninterruptedly with his mother for about a week, even if the mother is milked regularly. After this period, the kids are closed in a box that allows both mothers and kids to see each other because it is built with an electrically welded net. For a period of about two weeks, mother and child meet three times a day for an hour. Then the meetings become two, and at 60 days the kids can finally be weaned. This system allowed to check using a test group and a control one that the kids have growth curves very similar to those fed by the bucket. The mothers of the test group lost 0.7 litres per day compared to 3.5 litres produced from mothers without kids from the control group. Considering that a kid fed to the bucket eats an average of 1.5 litres a day, the conclusion is that a mother with her own kid produces an average of 0.8 litres of milk a day more.
the brony sheep story intertwines closely with all the anthropic activity on the Lessinia's territory and proves to be complementary to it, not only in the production and marketing of its derivatives, but also as an efficient partner in safeguarding the natural environment. It was, and still is, the preferred instrument against the continuous progress of wood and thorny shrubs, favouring the cleaning of steep pastures and the stabilisation of agricultural plots. An association was born in May 2012, gathering farmers, technicians, restaurant owners and food processors in order to avoid the extinction of the native breed, a Lessinia's cultural biodiversity heritage. It aims to promote the enhancement of the products made from this precious animal and to allow the farmers to keep on guarding the territory. So that it is possible to give again this mountain animal husbandry the vital role of guardian of the environment it has already held for hundreds of years. The animal welfare and its ecological and ethological needs are at the heart of the organic livestock farming principles. This is the reason why each animal is bred in spacious structures within which it can move freely. Great attention is paid to food which is never forced but based on organic food strictly non-GMO and obtained without synthetic fertilizers and herbicides produced by the company itself. Moreover, a close link with the land and the territory in which the animals are raised is respected, so that the ratio between their number and the occupied area is such as to avoid soil and water pollution. The Bronya sheep, due to its features, is particularly suitable for organic farming. The animal indeed bases its feeding on hay in the winter season and on pasture in the summer, while the lambs are suckled by their mother. So, it is perfect for the control of forest vegetation and is a natural and ecological instrument for maintaining the cleanliness of meadows and slopes. Furthermore, with a strong and robust body, it is enough disease resistant, and so, it does not require frequent and invasive health interventions, well suited to the organic livestock's regulations. The Bronya sheep is particularly generous, producing meat, milk and wool. Nothing is wasted from this animal. The Bronya sheep is on the table as well.